Perry Mack here and I'm at Northern Light with Warren Darbyson who's going to show us the brand new limited edition Northern Light truck camper. You told me I think this is like right off the line. This is right off the line. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Paint is barely dried at this point. And so, what's new about the limited edition? Just overall. Limited edition is a trim level that we introduced uh, not that long ago, uh, just to take Northern Light to the next level. So now I know it is a fiberglass camper. Yes. Uh, pretty much indestructible, single seam around there, waterproof. Um, I think some of the probably longest lasting and RVs that hold their value the longest are built like this in the fiberglass. Is that true? It's not uncommon for people to come up to me at RV shows and tell me that they have owned their Northern Light truck camper for 25 years, if wow. not longer. Yeah, so the, their longevity is, is outstanding. So what have we got back here? All right, uh, th this uh, area here, um, obviously has there's four points to this, um, or four areas on the camper that uh, we use to either secure the camper to the ground or tie it to the truck. This is the front jack. Uh, this one is equipped with a swing out bracket. Okay, so oh, yeah. it swings like this. If you happen to have a uh, truck that has dualies, Yep. Um, you need to be able to swing this bracket out to get it past the jack. All our jack brackets, okay, all come down and they are actually undermounted as well. So if you were to lift something heavy, how would you do it? Probably from underneath, okay, right. rather than just on the on the corners. Oh, so yeah. um, I'd say all the jack brackets run around under, underneath the camper, so you have a lot of support. Yep, and it looks like they're integrated in. It's just not bolted on the outside. Is that correct? Correct. Yep. Yeah, they're um, uh, all gusseted on the corners, and uh, they're attached mechanically as well as with an adhesive behind here. Then in this location here are the tie downs to secure the camper to the truck. It's a shock absorbing tie down. Works extremely well. Okay, as we mentioned a little bit earlier, uh, this is a two piece molded fiberglass camper, uh, which is key to its uh, longevity in the industry. Um, this up here is uh, the upper shell, this is the lower shell. Uh, they are joined together right at this, at this point right here. They're attached mechanically and as well with an adhesive. Behind this little strip there's um, stainless steel screws. Okay. And uh, those screws go into a strip of marine grade plywood. Uh, which gives those screws something to bite into. Right. Um, the upper shell overlaps the bottom shell, so it, it really is designed to shed the water. Right away I see something red that says do not, so <laughs> what's, what's behind door number one? D do not means do, right? <laughs> anyway, uh, this is our service center. Uh, this is where all the water ends up uh, going. You drain your black water tank, your fresh water tank, um, gray tank. Um, that is all kind of managed from, from this area. Yep. Okay. Um, this whole compartment is all nicely finished. Uh, any wood that is in this area is always painted because it does have a tendency yep. to get water around this area. It is again marine grade plywood and um, there's a heat duct being blown right into this area. So you have forced air being blown right into this area and then that hot air is being recycled back up into the coach. The actual basement uh, part of the coach is right. part of the ducting system. So are these four season campers? Absolutely, Excellent. absolutely. So ideal for going out uh, skiing or going fishing, ice yeah. fishing, uh, that's what we see a lot of our yeah. customers posting, particularly in the wintertime obviously, that they're out uh, yeah. doing all these wintertime activities and they're very comfortable doing so as well. Where can we go next? Looks like I got a shower? Yep. Outdoor shower? Yep. Outdoor shower out here so you can have a nice uh, hot and cold uh, shower out here. Uh, perhaps show your fellow campers a side of you they've never seen before. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, city water connection yeah and, um, and then of course um, connection uh, shore power if you will that uh, allows you to hook, hook up to power it at campsites okay we're on the other side of the coach uh, on this particular model here we have a dual battery box as all the campers do accommodate okay. two batteries yep. uh, but in this specific one we have separate battery boxes uh, they are wired together okay. they will accommodate uh, two six volt batteries is really the ideal situation yep. you get a lot more longevity out of two sixes. Yep. Uh, this one happens to have 112 in it right now just for demonstration purposes yep. um, but uh, lots of room very easy to get at uh, very user user friendly. And so then these two batteries um, are, are charged through the engine in your truck. Absolutely. And then there's an isolator yep. so that yep. we never drain the truck. 
panel. Correct, correct. Okay, these are also being charged uh, from the solar panels. Now this camper has two 100-watt uh, solar panels on the roof. All the limited edition and special edition models have uh, two solar panels on the roof. So you have 100 watts of power. Oh, okay. Okay, mm -hmm. and that trickle charges your batteries, uh, which allows you to run any of the 12-volt systems in the camper. Gotcha. And so that's when you say it comes with it, so that means it's not an extra, I'm not going to get nailed with an add-on, this is like... Standard, very, it, standard equipment. Okay. Every Northern Light truck camper that leaves our factory has minimum one solar panel on it. Wow, nice. Okay, and again, the LEs and the SEs all have two solar panels on them. Shall we move down? Yeah. This compartment over here is our storage compartment for the propane bottles. And look at that. Comes on a drawer, so nice and easy to change the, the bottles. Uh, this model here is our 10-2. Okay. Uh, limited edition and it is the only one that we will do or we can do a permanently installed generator. This one here has a box awning on the side. Actually all the uh, limited editions and special editions come with uh, two awnings on them. There's one on the back which is a power awning. This one here is a box awning on the side. Warren, we're at the business end. We are at the business <laughs> end. <laughs> this is all the entry point here. So um, on the back end of the camper, of course you have your entrance door, grab handle, ladder that sort of thing um, all the hardware on the outside of the camper the brackets that are holding the bumper step on um, all this is all done in powder coated aluminum okay okay oh, aluminum, yeah. yeah powder coated aluminum it uh, it's a very light light yeah. metal so it uh, works for it doesn't rust all yeah. that kind of stuff so it works very very well our steps very user friendly okay just a matter of pulling a pin down here steps flip over and go down like this. The bottom oh, yeah. of the step is just as nice as the top. It is. You have a storage compartment underneath here. Gives you access to the basement, okay, oh, yeah. which a little bit earlier I mentioned how the basement is all heated. Yeah. So everything down in here is going to be all heated, all your, your holding tanks. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, black, nice. black fresh and gray tanks are all down in here, so it'll all be, all be heated. And then you have this nice, big, large storage tray. Wow, I thought that was the tank. This is yeah, a storage tray. Yeah, exactly. And this is completely removable. So if it happens to get dirty, that sort of thing, you just take it out, wash it, and slide it back in. Nice. Okay. And again, all the wood that's down in here is all painted and is of marine grade quality. Nice. And yeah, I did notice uh, everything locks, so you can leave your camper and... Absolutely. Here's the other awning you mentioned. You said that's a power awning? That's a power awning, yes, absolutely. So you just push a button on the inside and the awning goes out and there's a light strip in the end of the awning bar, okay, which uh, illuminates the back of the camper, uh, which is really nice. Having the light on the awning bar stops uh, attraction of bugs to the, yeah. your door and that sort of thing. So it works really, really well. Warren, I noticed there's a ladder that goes up to the roof. Is that strong enough to, to hold me? Can I walk around up there? Absolutely. There could be opportunities that you need to go up on the on the roof for various reasons simple cleaning general maintenance and that sort of thing but yeah no issue walking on the roof whatsoever Perfect. and how much can I weigh like I obviously at 70 kilograms there might be a couple people that are a little bit heavier than me yeah yeah <laughs> yeah you know, your, your average size person has no no issue going okay. up there whatsoever awesome sounds good All and right. uh, you got uh, you got a remote in your hand that doesn't run the TV does it no it doesn't it doesn't uh, this is the remote control for the for the jacks ah so so with a simple push of a button, the camper will either go up or down. You can control the jacks all individually or at the same time. Uh, so you can stand outside, look at it, and... Yeah, yeah, Perfect. absolutely. Works really well. And then the jacks will support the camper. I can drive my truck out. Absolutely. Yeah. So that's the whole idea. Right. Yeah. And um, what you can also do is if you're at a campsite and you want to drive around, um, maybe you're there for a week or whatnot, yeah. you can take your camper right off the back of your truck, lower it down to the ground like we have it right here, and use your truck to go touring around, go get groceries, or whatever you want to do. Yeah. <laughs> so Warren, can I finally get inside the camper? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no problem, let's go. Let's do this. All right. Hey, so this is the inside of the 10-2 limited edition. Uh, this is our largest camper that we produce. This camper comes with the leather interior, um, has the Sapili hardwood uh, cabinetry. Um, all this cabinetry is uh, done with nice 
um, nice wood. Even in areas like this, where in, in most campers you see a product called photo finish or vinyl wrap, in layman's terms, wallpaper that looks like wood. We don't use any of those inferior products in the campers. It is equipped with a dream dinette, and it's a very appropriately named because it is a dream to operate. Okay, you can move the table back and forth which is very nice and then to move it down into a bed location just flip this lever underneath and you just push it down like this and then the cushions go over top of the mat over top of the table to make it into a bed up in the bunk area here you have a full-size queen mattress okay those residential measurements measurements 60 by 80 um, not a 60 by 74 which is often found in RVs we have a nice nice mat underneath the mattress which allows air ventilation underneath there so in the bunk area we have a beautiful skylight okay that opens it has a screen on it and a blind much like what you saw on the windows in the dinette area so you can have this open you turn on your fantastic fan Open up a window on the other end and you get a nice cool breeze coming across you. It makes a very nice comfortable sleep. All the limited editions come with carpet liner. Underneath the carpet liner is linoleum. So that way if you're in a campsite that's not conducive to having carpet, you can just roll this up, put it in the closet or leave it at home. Up here in the bunk area as well, we have a TV that swings around. Ah, nice. So it is uh, viewable from the dinette okay or obviously from the bedroom area this is hooked up through a bluetooth stereo right in this location right here and uh, you can plug dvds in there cds and uh, play your play your music on your phone right, right through here and of course you can pump that through your outside speakers as well yeah get the party going yes all right um, usb connections in various locations throughout the camper Okay, um, on the reading lights over here on either side of the dinette, okay, you have uh, reading lights here and they have uh, USB connections on them as well. Everything is LED lighting. Okay, uh -huh. so uh, it's, and the advantage to that is um, you have very little draw on your batteries. Underneath this cutting board is your sink. Okay, nice, nice cutting board. Grips nicely on top of the stove top and nice residential style sink stove top cover folds back nicely like this okay it gives you access to this top of the stove your windows are all a thermal pane acrylic window they open awning style so that you can have them open in the rain and then you also have a screen on them that pulls down from the top okay and then a blind that comes up from the bottom and then also one of the things about the limited editions is they do come with a remote control on a fantastic fan and uh, that is uh, temperature sensitive and uh, if you have these windows open say in the evening you want to cool the camper off you just turn that fan on set it to a specific temperature and eventually it'll get the camper to the ambient outside temperature this is where we, we locate our microwave uh, you can either have a microwave in it. it comes standard in this model here but in other models it is an option flip out for all your scrubbies and that sort of thing for your pots and pans nice cutlery drawer the drawer construction is of nine ply birch so again no inferior products in here. There's no particle board osb board in this unit anywhere this dinette configuration is standard uh, this is the face-to-face -face dinette and the option would be a u-shaped dinette all right so this area here is where your systems are operated okay this is the remote control for the fantastic fan which is located in the ceiling right here this area here is the monitoring system for all your black your 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 holding tanks black tank gray tank fresh water tank digital control for the ac unit and of course a clock here also gives you uh, outside and inside temperatures Located right in the ceiling here is the AC unit and it is um, a central AC unit uh, more than capable of keeping this unit nice and cool on those hot summer days. We have a beautiful slide out pantry, gives you a lot of really nice storage. Um, people really, really like this. Okay, The pantry is only available in the 10 too. The limited editions are deluxe with cheese model, they kind of come with everything that you would want them to. Back here you have extra cabinetry. Okay, located in this area here, nice hanging closet right next to your entrance door, which is something that we always get a request for. So it's something that we have integrated into our floor plan. Nice slide out drawers that go out full depth. 
Uh, all the drawers go out full extension drawer glides on them, which allows them to do this. There are drawers underneath the dinette seating as well. And then back here you have the bathroom. Okay, uh, this one is equipped with as our dry bath, so you can have a shower in this area here, as a designated area for the shower, keeps your toilet dry. This area down here are the remote controls for the awning outside. This controls the awning going in and out. You have a light switch beside it. Right here is the control for the generator, as I showed you earlier, outside. And then this is the monitoring system for the solar panels on the roof. So you can just see exactly what's going on, how much charge is being put into batteries. Okay, located right in this cabinet here is our door sticker. Okay. On this door sticker is all the pertinent information about this camper, serial number and date of manufacture. But one of the things I wanted to point out in here is the weight on this camper. We post in the campers what they weigh as they leave the factory door. Okay, which means it is as, as it's built with all the equipment in it. This one here has the generator in it, uh, which is an optional uh, feature in this unit. And this camper weighs 3,530 pounds exactly, okay? Very important when you are putting this on the back of a truck, you need to know exactly what your camper weighs. You put water in it and all your personal belongings, of course that ups the weight, but you do have to have a base point and that's why we post it in there. The camper we're in now is the 811 limited edition, a little bit smaller than the first camper that we were in. And this one is dressed a little bit different than the first one. Warren, I like this interior. I don't think I've seen this from Northern Light before. You have it. This is brand new for us. Uh, this uh, cabinetry color is called Grey Stokes, and the upholstery is Black Diamond. Uh, we're really excited about it. First time we've done something like this, and uh, it's getting really, really good reviews from the people that have seen it. Really excited about this. Yeah, I can see it. Now, is this interior available in all the different sizes, and, and how many sizes are there? Uh, this is available in all the sizes. We have three sizes. We have a 9.6 and a 10.2, which are for the long box trucks, and then the 8.11, uh, which is for a short box truck, so your six and a half foot box. Uh, both 8.11 and the 10.2 are both available in the wet bath and dry bath configurations. Right, and I can get this interior in any in the limited editions. In the limited edition. Absolutely, right. yeah. It's nice. an upgrade on the limited edition. Yeah, no, I like it a lot. And of course, this table probably folds down into a bed just as the previous one did. It does, yeah. And this is the U-shaped dinette that I was uh, yeah. talking about earlier. I like it. Gives you nice seating around the back area here. It's uh, really, uh, really quite nice. It's my preferred floor plan. Warren, thanks so much for taking us through uh, all your truck campers. Uh, really good to see the limited editions. I think you've done a, done a fantastic job. I'm excited about them. Thank you, it's been a pleasure. All right. If you enjoyed this video, share it. Smash that like button. And if you wanna see more, please subscribe and ring that bell so you're one of the first to know when a new video comes out.